Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's follow together. Um, I'm out here in the beautiful countryside doing a little fishing. And uh, this first um, came back to me. It's, it's special to me and I hope it touches your heart. It's from Isaiah 40 verse 31. It's those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength and rise on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not grow faint. Um, on, on the way out here, it, it took about an hour to get out here, and I'm like, let's go fishing, let's go fishing, looking at the clock, I don't know, it's 4.30, you know, counting down in my mind the hours I have left, you know what I mean, I got, got my my work done, got my school work done, like, okay, come on, I got time, I got time, and I'm, I'm here fishing, right, in this, this beautiful place, and I'll do a quick panorama so you can see it, try not to go too fast, I don't want to fall off this rock either. <laughs> That would be funny for you guys, but you see how beautiful this place is? And I'm here fishing and I <laughs> chewing on a bunch of sunflower seeds, you know, spitting them fishing. And I caught like three, three little ones. Two of them were really little and, and the one was half decent, but it was still pretty little. But I'm like, come on, gotta fish, gotta fish, gotta fish. You know what I mean? And <laughs> God, I, I need a word for you, for your people. You know what I mean? And it was like, sit down a second. <laughs> so, so I sat on the rock and I just looked around and my, my shoulders were, were like this. I didn't even realize it. Just breathe, breathe. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I, I think it's not just me. I think it's just America. Like we're, we're like, go, go, go. Gotta have it now. Gotta do it now. I like that verse. It says, wait on the Lord. Some versions say hope. And trust but I like King James how it says wait like that is a form of hope and trust right waiting waiting on the Lord waiting for his plan his purpose his timing just think how much trouble we could avoid if we waited right oh I need this I need this relationship I need this job I need this money I need this I need that I think that's why credit cards are invented that I needs I need now right now, I'm not. I'm not saying if you have credit cards, you need to to cut them up. Unless they're ruining and running your life, then cut them things up. But you know, I, I think it starts up here. Like, cause, cause a while ago, you know, what I mean, when I was lost in drugs and stuff, I was my activities. I had a lot of them, but they weren't good. But since Jesus transformed my life, I still have a lot of activities. My schedule's still pretty full. You're like, well, the last three videos we saw, you're out fishing, so it must not be that full. I make some time to do this because I really enjoy it. But I think it has more to do with up here. Like we, we got to be still and know that he is the Lord. Breathe. Even while I'm talking, my shoulders are starting to go up, right? Breathe. God's in control. He's on the throne. He's not going to be mocked. He loves you. He has a plan for you. Look to him, you know, make time for him. Earlier today, I, I was in the car at work on lunch break, just kind of closed my eyes and just talking to the Lord. And I heard this, this word come, right, for something I was supposed to write. So right away, I, I get the beginning of it, and I'm like, okay, okay, I got this, you know. Just filling it all in, leaning on my own understanding, right, when we need to acknowledge him and, and look to him. And he's the one who directs our paths. I think we get in a lot of trouble when we try to direct our own paths. And worry creates a new path in your mind of, of running in circles. And it gets you stressed out and intense. And, and God wants to destroy that. So I'm going to pray for us. God, help us to rest in you. Help us to, to leave worry behind and trust that you're in control. In your name, Jesus. Amen. I gotta wait for this car to go by or you won't be able to hear me. <laughs> you see all the beauty I would have missed had I not taken a second. I think we steal from ourselves the beautiful thing that God has in store for his people because we're so busy rushing to the next thing and the next thing 
in the next thing. Like I said, maybe even good things. But we gotta breathe. And let his joy fill our hearts. Let his peace reign in our hearts. And be thankful. Because he paid it all for us. Thank you, Jesus. And, and thank you that I'm able to be out here fishing and, and speak this word of encouragement to your people. The encouragement to rest. To rest in him. And, and let go. If you don't make it to that next activity, it's going to be okay. The kids are going to be alright. They need you more than they need that activity. Breathe. He's in control. Be blessed.